everybody, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. We've not moved very far from last episode, I think I've just moved up the hill slightly here. I mean, we finished off down here somewhere, and I've just moved up the hill slightly. Uh, main focus for today is, would be, if I can, would be to get as close as we can to some kind of... Uh, Waypoint. I can't remember where. I think that's further down. I can't quite remember. But first of all, we seem to have some kind of. We have the Sentinels here. Galvanize. I think that means they can't be destroyed. Uh, so, I've separated Wargraph already. And what we'll do is we'll put Wing Feet on. Walk in the shadows. And head up here. And should be able to see him. In fact, well, let's disable that. He's going to become visible any second. Let's wait for that to wear off. Intruder spied. There we go, intruder spied. Intruder spied. Woo nice. Right. Let's see what we can do here. We need uh, wing feet again, don't we? Let's put a little save in there just in case. Did it save then? Yes, it did. Uh, right, come on then. Let's get back here. There's one, there's another one. Alright, we need wooden feet again. Get rid of that. That is the entrance to the... Uh, the dungeon. Is it Cassandra's dungeon? Right, wing feet. Go. Disarm, please. All right, that clears that away. We can pick and choose a little bit which direction we're going now as well. All right, let's just check this way as well. Intruder spied. Okay. And there's another one there, so... We're going to need... Walk in the shadows. When this has come back up. There we go, we're back up. Right, walk in the shadows. Intruder spied. Where is our spirit? Where has she fled? Oh, that's one down. Won't talk to Wargraf, oh dear. Spirit? Where has she fled? Oh right, okay, we might be able to use the teleport here. So look. Uh, fast track. Cloak and dagger. Can we get up there? Tag you out of sight, damn it. Right. 
Right, that again, it's very slow, I know, but I want to be certain I don't die. Just put another save in there. Let's move to the edge. Intruder spied. Yes, I know, intruder spied. Winged feet. Where's the other one? She cannot be defeated. She will not die. Can't reach. Quickly. Oh, no way we get to that. Right, well, that's... Those done. So we can go that way if need be. That's not going to take us to where we want to go, I don't think. Hmm. Let's get the party back together. We've done this now, and I know that leads to where I want to go afterwards. To make Cassandra vulnerable, we need to go to her temple and find her bones, if I remember correctly. I think we'll run into Death Knights that way and this way. So let's have a look at the other way, shall we? For the time being. Oh, we have the Ghost Village. Right, okay, so we're going to get a decent battle here as well. Let's see if we're going to try their attention, shall we? I wonder if Nick can do it. Yes. Alright, so let's get forward a little bit. I don't seem to have any courage. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's something else that I missed. Let's have a look. Or I couldn't learn it. Well, I'll have to go and have a look for that at some point as well then. And turn there. Let's get the skelly down. And move up a tad. Right, we need you all the way in. Uh, yeah, let's start that off. We could do some damage. Increase your chance to hit. Right, what do we have here? What can we get going? Not a lot, I don't think. No, let's move forward a little bit. Alright, let's get cracking. Hit him, please. That's right, focus on the uh, summons that we've got going, please. Thank you. Ooh. Group blessing, nice. We need some of that. I can find it. That's right, group up for me. Damn it. <laughs> 
Oh, definitely bit the dust there. Looks like they're focusing. Reason failed, oh good. Start our turn after this. As thrilling as the stage, though not half so bloody. Alright, um let's get you into focus on these. Alright, what can we do here then? We need to do a whirlwind straight off. need to do that on more graph. Give him a big heal. Help his survivability. And let's see if we can knock all these down, shall we? Oh, two. Let's put a bit of bar wire on. What can we do? Alright, bull. And we're taunting. All taunted, that's good. Right, what are we going to do here then? Let's get a group heal going. Uh, that's all we're doing by the look of it. Right, let's see if we can get a couple of these. There's one. At least. How's that one doing? Oh, good. Oh, how I'll sing of your entrails. Right, which one's stood up? Is it that one? No, not stood. Try that. Yes, those, those two gone. Staff charge. Oh, bobbins. What else can we do? Head bias, that'll do. Under pressure. Blinded. Come on, you guys, suck it up. You can take it. Ooh, that's going to be close. Bye bye, Skelly. Sigurd by my right arm. <laughs> A dance to the deck. And my steps the daintier. Alright, uh, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? We don't need flurry, I don't think, or do we? Here, I'll try it. That's nearly dead. Targeted power. Let's throw a taunt in. On the mend! Can't hit that. Can hit that, though. Let's see if we can charm you. Charm failed, damn it! Let's buff Wolgraf off a bit of damage. Ricochet. Nice. Finish it, please. He's stunned. 
And a little freeze on that one. Freezing failed, of course it did. Now here we go. Ooh, ouch, ow, 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 no, no, no. Blocking well there, Scarlet. Oh, she's blocking really well. Right, what have we got? Cripple. <sighs> so close. Finish it off. Get rid. There we go. I feel better already. Hmm. Block them off. There is no escaping the spider's kiss. Right, Wolgroff. Let's try and barrage him. Nice one. Immune to poison. Heal on the go. I won't do that, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, how many turns do you want? Take advantage a little bit, and I do to believe. Right, what have we got here? What can we do? Oh, well, I guess all three. Nice one. Hmm. A little bit of a curse, shall we? The bull, if it works, no, got weak. That's not too bad. Ricochet again. He does a lot of damage, Wolgroff. Can you finish it? Indeed, we can. Go on, Spidey. Can't see target. I sing the body electric. Can't see target out of sight. Okay. Well, let's clear all the ill effects away, shall we? Spidey taking the damage for me. I'm finishing him. Will it? I think it will. Maybe not, or maybe it will. There we go. Nice one. And a chest. Excellent. A stitching time, eh, my friends? Right, we need the heal down again. As good as a new penny. Better already. Right. Have we got anything decent? Well, I can go straight to the homestead. I'll take that.
74 armor, one strength, one dexterity. That's absolutely no good, I don't think. We'll send it to Roderick in case. Let's have a quick look. No, I didn't think it was any good. Strength and dexterity we're not really using, so that's no real big deal. Right. Is that it for this area? Let's see what's this way, shall we? Oh, I know where this leads. Alright, let's uh, initiate the final part of Cassandra's quest, shall we? While we're here. Need to put a save in first. Ah, who? Curse the human corpus and curse the human conscious. What do I spy? Remarkable. A living, breathing something, it seems. You dare to approach me here, mortal? Don't you know who I am? Don't you know what I do? Well, let's discuss our friend Ahu, shall we? He is so much more than a friend. He is my soul torn from me, reflecting back in passion. From humble beginnings came he, until I crafted out of him the want I felt in my existence. Ahu was mine to make, and Ahu is mine to have. A love as great as this, it shall not be denied. Oh, all right, okay, tell me who you are, even the one all. The sister of the king, of course. The phantom of the woods, of course. The mother of all corpses, of course. The ruler of the dead. It is self-evident. I am Cassandra, Queen of the Phantom Forest, and you, you have come where you are not welcome. Uh, you say you're the sister of the king, which king do you mean? The only king, Bracchus Rex. He rules all of Rivalon, and I his double rule too, for a time at least. We were forged together by our very souls, and all that was his was mine, and all that was mine, his. But it's no wonder you haven't heard of me. He's gouged me from history one statue, one tablet, one scroll at a time. But make no mistake, I live. And you're not creepy at all, are you? Strange, isn't it? Our love greater than the gods themselves can tear you from time. But time matters little to me anymore. No, it floats past me unfelt as light upon a blind eye. Yeah, you say your brother removed you from history. Why would he do such a thing? To hide his weakness. To conceal his greatest misdeed. My brother was a kind ruler before he became a rabid tyrant. But his descent into madness was swift. Power he gained. And with it, a terrible fear of death that hounded him ceaselessly night and day. He stationed a hundred guards outside his bedchamber and mine. But still he kept awake all night, expecting assassins. He soon determined that he must diminish his risk. I, his sister, forged to his soul was his greatest liability. My death would spell his... And so he sought to break the bond between us. And did he do it? Did he break your soul forge? My brother is a clever sort. Once he sets his mind to a task, it's good as done. Bracchus discovered that while we lived, the forge could not be broken. But this did not deter him. No, for Bracchus, there are only temporary difficulties. And so he turned me into an immortal creature. 
Living, yes, but wedded to death. A lich destined to roam, ever half alive among the world of the living. We were lost to one another. We who had walked hand in hand through all of life. We who shared each thought, each trial with perfect understanding between us. I was cast out and aside. And Bracchus, empowered by his new freedom, went on to rule. But I've never forgotten his betrayal. No, I've spent centuries searching, seeking, until the perfect solution appeared before me. And which solution do you mean? How better to have guaranteed my brother hated his own cold, cruel heart than to make him feel my torment. I discovered how to restore our soul forge, and I determined to bind our souls once more. The torment of the never-arriving grave would have haunted him as it haunts me. The pain his betrayal caused me would have been his to savor. But in the end, my brother found a worse fate than any I could have devised. Source king that he was. Bracchus was stricken down, not once, but twice. First opposed, then resurrected, then defeated once more. I can think of no finer torture for that proud madman than to come to the cusp of glory, only to be cast back down for all time. I'm glad to hear your news, the brother's fate pleases you, for it was I who slew Bracchus as he rose from his grave. Is that so? You, a frail mortal, laid low the eternal crown of Bracchus Rex. How sinfully inglorious. Yes, how humiliating for the so-called Lord of Chaos to find himself run through by a slave to age and order. I do believe thanks are in order. To show my gratitude, I will allow you to roam my woods at your own discretion. This is no mean feat that I swear to tolerate the stench of your living flesh, mortal. Take it as a tremendous honor. Yeah, you said you discovered how you restore a soul forge. I'd be much indebted to you if you could re share this information with me, okay? <laughs> is that so? And how might I weigh the debt of a mortal? Could you do more for me than, say, a boar, a wolf? Does your kind not serve me best when the lovely blush of rot swells along your delicate hide? Still, I do suppose we could come to an agreement. Ahu, the one I love, is reluctant to admit that he loves me too. He clings to the past like a fading old man. So I desire to drive him from denial into acceptance. He is a stubborn one, though, that pussycat. And he has mastered the magic I once filled him with better than I had foreseen. That is why I need an ingredient even he cannot resist. An ingredient called Stasis Fern. There is a spirit in this forest called Shiera, who is known to possess like rarities. Alas, she seems to have quite vanished. It's simple, really. Find her, obtain the stasis fern, and the spell you desire shall be yours. And um, what exactly is stasis fern? It is an anomaly. A plant that is said to have grown in another realm altogether than Rivalon. The first garden, a place of myth and miracle. There, so the spirits of this forest told me. It bloomed and delighted with its fragrance no more. Yet taken from the first garden and brought here, it took on source-like particularity. Its magic is one of permanence. A magic as eternal as the world from whence it came, and with it, what I want will be mine. Ahu, my lover forever. I suppose if you want to use a stasis fern to make Ahu Man forever, he could be made a cat forever as well. Obviously, but that would be a disaster now, wouldn't it? A disaster of such proportions that I'd have to vent my rage on your innards! Okay, on that note I'll take my leave. Thank you, Cassandra. 
Log updated. Forge of Souls. So we can now find out how to uh, sort out Leandra. Oh, what's that? Oh, she's torturing you. You were always the only one, Ahu. I need you back. Source Hunter, how glad I am to see you. Tread carefully. Weigh your every word. Cassandra has become more devious than I ever dared dream. Oh, oh ha -hoo. we've come all this way together and still have to say it. Curiosity is about to kill the cat. You hit the nail on the head, Hunter. That is exactly what Cassandra wants to do. Kill the part of me that is cat and claim for herself that which is human. No! I cannot bear it. I cannot. I am a cat and always was. I remember my many siblings. My mother giving us suckle. Licking me clean with a gentle purr. Yes, I remember the freedom of a pre-conscious existence. That is who I am. Not a man. For what is it that humanity has given me? Nothing but suffering. Nothing but hurt and heartbreak. So stop her, Hunter. For the love of the Seven, stop Cassandra. To be human for all time is a fate worse to me than death. Uh, okay. Cassandra's after an agreement called Stasis Fern. I guess you're aware of its properties. All too well. Even in my human guise, I'd have gone quite as white as I am now at the mere mention of that otherworldly wonder. Stasis Fern. In Cassandra's hands, an instrument of ultimate torture. Ambrosia in my own. She'd use it to consolidate my human form everlastingly. You cannot let her have it at any cost. But should you find it, Hunter, please bring it to me instead. With Stasis Fern, that ultimate catnip, I can become the being I most desire to be. A cat once more and forever. Okay, I'm not going to say that about breaking out of this cage, because obviously she's invulnerable at the moment anyway, so we would... Get our asses kicked. I'll take my leave. Alright, let us get uh, to the exit here. And I think that will bring us to the end of this episode, folks, I'm afraid. Our next episode, we'll must try and find. Oh, hang on a second, we might be. Let's just extend it slightly, because we might be able to find the. Uh, Ah, there it is. See? There it is. This is what we were searching for. Alright, let's have a quick word with a frustrated bull. Because he says absolutely nothing. And thank you very much. Right, so now we've got that. We'll put in a little save. Our next episode, we can start from this spot. And we can either go and sort out Wolgraf's voice, which is in that direction. Or we can just generally roam around and try and find some fights. Alright, well thanks for watching folks. So let me know in the comments below. It, well, which would you prefer me to do? Or would you like me to do something else? Let me know in the comments. This is All Grey, signing off.